All right, everybody, it's very cold outside and the wind is howling, so it's um, too hard to really do a video outside, so we're going to do this one inside here in my messy office. Um, but we've had some questions about um, sap and understanding what the sugar content is, and, and anytime you're making syrup, it's all about that sugar. Basically, what you do when you make syrup is boil the sap, which has a small amount of sugar in it, and as you boil it or reduce it with um, some other means like the reverse osmosis, um, you're simply getting rid of the water and concentrating that sugar content until you get it to that 67%, which is kind of the magical number, which um, makes it maple syrup. Um, but how do you know what the sugar content is? Um, how do you know when it's finished? Uh, there's a couple tools that we use. Uh, it's very handy that I would definitely recommend anybody um, even you're just in your backyard making maple syrup to have one of these uh, just because it helps that accuracy. Um, and even just knowing the sugar content of your sap is helpful because uh, you kind of know when you start and then what you can expect to finish with when it comes to final syrup. Um, sap content, sugar content and sap can vary a lot tree to tree or area to area. We have kind of two areas here at the Ag Center where we collect um, sap. One of them tends to be anywhere in that 1.7 to 1.8 percent sugar content. Uh, the other one is two, sometimes two and a half percent sugar content. And that can mean the difference of 10, 15 gallons or more of sap needed to make one gallon of, of syrup. But anyway, uh, there's two major tools here we use. This one is called a refractometer and basically you open this little panel up, put a few drops of the sap in here, close it up, and then you look through it, and you can it basically measures the sugar content through refraction of light through a thin panel of the uh, thin plane of the sap. Um, there's a couple different ones. You you get them calibrated either for the low sugar content for sap, or calibrated for the higher sugar content for measuring when when syrup is done. We have one of each. Um, another method we use. Uh, is hydrometers. So hydrometers are just weighted floats like this that are calibrated uh, for sugar content. You can see the little scale right here. And so you usually take a canister like this, fill it full of the sap, and then you float this in there and find where it floats um, to measure your sugar content. Just like the refractometer, the hydrometers, there's ones like this one which are calibrated for lower sugar content that you would expect in sap and also for the cold temperatures that you would expect sap to be in. And then there's others um, that are calibrated for the higher sugar content for measuring when your syrup is done. This one actually has two different calibrations on it, one for cold syrup and one for hot syrup. So you can actually measure as you're boiling to um, get that exactly where you want it. A lot of people have recommended using temperature as a, as a guide to know when your syrup is done. I don't find that very uh, consistent, so I really like using these. They're not that expensive. You can buy them for $20 or $30, um, and it really helps you increase your accuracy when you're finishing your syrup, or it helps you understand kind of what sugar content you have in your sugar bush when you're collecting.